Virgin Mary Throw down in my life Throw down in my life Born James Yancey Jones, and now better known as the Tail Dragger. Howlin' Wolf gave me that name because a time was bad and he said I was dragging my tail. Well, I try to teach, especially the young blacks, I try to teach them the blues. See, our forefathers created the blues, and the young blacks, they don't want to play. They, they shame on what the forefathers created. You know, if it one for the whites, the blues would be dead. The young blacks are in the rap, they don't, they don't understand the blues, you know. Like they're, they're ashamed of what their forefathers created, so that's the whole thing, you know. Well, see, a lot of people don't understand the blues. You live the blues every day. Blues is life. If you don't have no money, you got the blues. And if you got money, you still got the blues because everybody's trying to take it away from you. I've been walking I got holes all in my shoes I've been walking I got holes all in my shoes Well, it make me feel good when I sing the blues because, you know, if I make somebody else feel good, that makes me happy too. See, my mother and father separated when I was four months old. So my father's parents raised me. So my grandfather did a lot of farming and always had his own mules and horses and cows and everything, you know. So I seen a lot of people seeing it hard coming up, but I never had that problem. I never had one bad for you. I never have went hungry. I seen my hardest times when I thought I was grown and got out here in the streets. But at home, I didn't do too much because I was the first grandchild and I was my grandmother's baby, so she didn't let me do too much. <laughs> I was always a, a child wanting to learn everything. And my grandfather built houses, so we never stayed in a regular house. So I'd follow him, whatever he'd do, shoe horses and all that. I, I learned it because I was the only grandchild and I was following him around, you know. And so that's how I learned how to, you know, do different things. And then, when I got like 16 years old, I got, I got a motor school. So then, from the motor school to a car. So therefore, when my car broke down, this guy, he had a service station. And I would wash cars and offer him to fix my car. And so I was nosy. And that's how I learned how to do mechanic work. And so when I was in school, after I got out of school, I had an international harvester deal there. And I, this guy, he'd be rebuilding motor. And I learned how to rebuild the inside of motor before I learned the outside. Hey, hey, come on, shake it. Come on, shake it. Come on, shake it. Shake it, baby. Come on, help. So, when I first started, they were calling me Carl and James. And so, until I met Howard and Moore. And so, one night, this guy Lee Shot Williams, he was a singer also. 
So I got a chance to sing on Howlin' Wolf's show. So I thought I done did something. Wolf got on the mic and talked about me. My time was so bad. I went to him. I said, man, I don't know. I said, please teach me. He said, the wolf going to teach you. So I go to his house, and he taught me timing. And when he wasn't playing, he tell his band, go help me out. One day I was going to take his place. And I had top flight musicians when I was trying to learn. <laughs> well, your drum is your timekeeper. I didn't understand that at first. I look at the guitar player, he know I want to sing. But now I have to do that. I learned my timing, you know. <laughs>